Hello everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are having a fantastic week so far. And I had so much fun this week on my channel. I did a buy this, not that, dupe series. So affordable makeup that performs just as well as high-end makeup. So today's video is going to be a half-face drugstore and half-face high-end makeup tutorial so you'll have to guess and comment below like right now if you think which side you think is high-end because I'm wearing all drugstore on one side and all high-end on the other so let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial and or get ready with me rather because I hate calling it a tutorial it's a super simple look but I just wanted to show you guys these products that I've talked about all week in action so let's get started Okay, let's get started. First, I'm going to start out with this Milani Repairing Primrose Rose Hip Infused Oil. So fancy, right? Uh, this is, it's pink, but it doesn't have any color. Like, it looks like it's going to be pink. Basically, it's just an oil, and I need it today. I love this product so much. Next, I am going to go into primer, and on the left side is what's going to be drugstore, and on the right will be high-end. So, this is the Sephora Beauty Amplifier Afterglow Primer, and I am just going to put that mostly on my cheeks and a little bit on my forehead. I don't want to put it in my T-zone because I don't want to get super oily there. And then on the other side, I'm going to go in with the Becca Backlight Primer. Um, and you will see these two products are essentially the same. Now, if you swatch them next to each other, they are not going to look identical. Um, but on the face, they give that same luminosity and glow. So this is the Becca and then this is the Sephora. Next, I am going in with foundations. On the left side, we are going to have the L'Oreal Pro Matte. And on the right side, we are going to have the Estee Lauder Double Wear. So, I'm going to apply them both with a Beauty Junkies makeup sponge because this is my favorite way to apply foundations that have a little bit more of a matte finish. Um, that way it doesn't look super cakey, but the color and texture of both of these foundations is the exact same. Honestly, the wear time, everything is the exact same on the foundation. Now let's go in here to the Estee Lauder Double Wear side and pat that in. Now, I'm not going crazy and like switching sponges or brushes. I'm just wiping it off on this towel and then going in. So, for concealer, we are going to use the Revlon Age Defying Concealer and the new It Cosmetics Bye Bye Illumination. The colors are very similar as well as the texture of these concealers. Like, I was so surprised at how similar the textures are. It's insane. Now, I will say that the It Cosmetics one feels a tad bit, I just wiped off my finger, a tad bit more heavy. Um, it's not like super heavy, like a big time full coverage concealer, but you can definitely tell that the Revlon side is um, a little bit more lightweight. Now, I want to kind of I want to do the center of my face, but I don't, I don't know how, so I'm just kind of mixing them. Once again, I'm going in with that makeup sponge, and I'm going to blend it all out and make it look good, hopefully. See, they're pretty close to the same color. I'll list all of my colors down below, too, as well as the products. This drugstore concealer is one that I never hear anyone talk about, and I'm like, it's so so good. The only thing I don't like about it is the little sponge tip applicator, but I can deal with it, you know? Now, I don't have a high-end setting powder because I only use the RCMA No Color Powder. This is $10 for this huge tub, and it is just the best powder I've ever used. I will never go back to the Laura Mercier or anything like that. So, I'm setting the center of my face. Or actually, I'm just going to set 
under the eyes with this powder and I'm also going to take it across the lid because I did get a little bit of concealer up there so I want to set it and use that as primer. Now the next thing I'm going to do is going to look funny for a second. I cannot bake under my eyes but I find that I like it if I bake the center of my face because it gets so much less so much less oily did I say that right throughout the day so I'm just using that no color powder again and I am going to do some bakage and I do take it right there because I tend to get oil there also so if I try to do that way up under my eyes my eyes look so cakey so next we're going to go in with this Maybelline Master Contour in light to medium it is their contour kit and I am going to place that in my contour and also on the outer perimeters of my face just to bring some dimension back to my face and um I'll, if y'all didn't watch I did a whole dupe series this week so check that out because I swatched this next to the high-end version but in the pan it doesn't look like it's gonna be the same but it is on the cheek on the high end side, I'm going to use the Laura Geller Balance and Bronze in Fair. This is such a beautiful product too. They both pull a little bit red, so which I kind of like because in the summertime, like I naturally get red like that, brownish red, if you will. And so I really think these look the most natural on me as far as bronzer shades and I don't really contour hardly at all. I just use a smaller bronzing brush and put it there where I would contour first and then blend it up. Next for blush we're going to go in with NYX blush in Moth Me. I think this was probably my favorite dupe that I found all week. Such a perfect match to NARS Sin which is one of my all-time favorite blushes especially in the winter months I know we're getting into spring summer here but it's still such a pretty color and then I'm gonna wipe my brush off and go in to Narsin oh this color you know what I don't even follow the makeup obviously Narsin is a little bit more pigmented um I don't follow makeup rolls like that though oh my goodness the Nars one is so much more pigmented that's okay we're gonna blend it first I'm going to take that powder brush and I'm just gonna sweep away this powder it's been sitting there long enough and I'm gonna kind of blend that NARS powder too with the powder I'm wiping off you know now we're gonna go in with highlighter and I am gonna use ColourPop's lunch money here on the left side which is a complete dupe for Becca's blood or no Becca's highlighter in Moonstone taking that same brush I am going to go into Moonstone which I have like the most precious little mini version of it I love this little one so much but look they're the same thing Mm -hmm. yes they are we are going to use the elf matte for matte palette in matte <laughs> and I'm gonna take this shade right here on a big fluffy what is this a Sigma e25 and I'm just gonna place this in the crease we're gonna do a super simple eye because I don't want this video to be too long and um, I'm not doing anything spectacular today. Actually, I'm doing someone's makeup today, like a client. So I'm excited about that. Now I'm gonna go into the Visart palette and I'm going to take a mixture of these two shades, which actually put the exact same color in my crease. This is just as a blending, kind of blending out transition shade. Next, I'm going to take this warm brown right here in the e.l.f. palette with a smaller brush and I'm just going to concentrate this on the outer corner of my eye. I bet you could have guessed that I was going to say that. I know it's not anything spectacular, but I just really wanted to show y'all like how similar these products work, you know? 
And I'm a fan of so much high-end makeup, but if I can find something at the drugstore for just as good, well, why wouldn't I? Now, this shade right here in the Visart palette is the same thing. I swear, these even feel the same. The texture of them, they feel the same. This one, I mean, they blend the same even, you know? So pretty. So I'm just going to take my brush and blend it upwards a little bit. In the e.l.f. palette, I'm going to take the smallest amount of that black and just stamp it right there on the outer corner. I'm going to wipe my brush off and I'm going to do the same with the black in the Visart palette. I hope I'm not going in and out of focus here. And I'm just stamping it, like I said, and then we are going to go back to that blending brush and blend some more. I keep going in with an empty brush or a brush with no powder on it just because I want to make it look really seamless and no harsh lines. I'm going in with that warm brown shade again on just a shader brush and I'm going to put this on the lower lash line and that's really all we're going to do on the lower lashes. Using the same brush but wiped off, I am going in the Visart palette to that same shadow and popping it on the lower lash line. Okay, and let's put something on the lid. This is I Heart This by ColourPop, and I'm just gonna use my finger. I find that these products, these kind of creamy eyeshadows, apply the best with your fingertip. And I always use my ring finger, because it's like the perfect size for my lid space. Okay, so I wipe my finger off, and now I'm gonna take the Chanel Illusion de Ombre. And this one is in the, it just fell out, legitimately. This whole thing just fell out. I've seen that happen to other people before, but it's never happened to me. It fell out, it landed on my bottom tray here, so it didn't land on the floor, but that makes me mad. And I'm actually having to pack on the Chanel one even more than the ColourPop, so... Yeah, I would go with the ColourPop for $5. Lashes are going to be hard for me to do on camera because I have to get so close to the mirror because my eyesight is sorry. But I'm going to use the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black on this eye and the Superhero Mascara by It Cosmetics on this eye. I'm going to go back to our face highlighter and I'm going to put this just right there on the inner corner just to brighten it up a little bit and wipe my brush off and go into Moonstone and put it on this side and then we will move on to lips. For lipstick, I'm gonna use Fergie Daily here on the left side. This is one of my favorite lipsticks ever. Okay, next we're gonna go in with the Nude Sticks in Whisper. So that is it, that is the finished product drugstore side versus high-end in person they look the exact same so I'm so surprised that it looks like I'm wearing the same products on both sides like I've never done anything like this so and I knew the products were pretty close dupes but I was still questioning if they would look the same and I'm totally gonna go out like this so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you want me to do this again and I will talk to you soon